Welcome to BTECH. I'm Basil, this is an Nokia Lumia 2520 and you're watching our video review. The Lumia 2520 is a first modern day tablet from Nokia and what strikes us about it from the offset is its design. It's available in a range of colors so it's immediately stand out but it's also pretty thin and light and looks incredibly Lumia-esque, very reminiscent of the smartphone line. Not quite as thin as an iPad Air, don't get us wrong, it isn't the most manageable out there, but for a 10 inch device, it does still sit well in both hands and add a push quite comfortably for us at least in one hand. The display is a full HD 10 inch panel and it's incredibly bright. This means outdoor viewing is very good indeed. Viewing angles are also good too and it's pretty responsive to the touch, but we have one real gripe with it. This Thing, loves fingerprints. We'd even go so far as to say if you're doing a presentation on it, take a stylus with you, make sure you have a microfiber cleaning cloth with you because like we said, it just loves them. So you're gonna have a very, very grubby looking tablet pretty quickly, which is a shame considering how good it looks. Inside that screen, it's Windows 8.1 RT. We were dubious about this because Windows RT has a load of baggage being unable to run legacy files, but the Windows RT ecosystem is significantly better than it once was. As far as productivity goes, it's fantastic just based on the Microsoft Office on board. And now you have Outlook as well. You're gonna have effectively a mobile office within reason. If you double it up with the keyboard dock, we're guessing it'll be performing a lot better, but we unfortunately didn't have the keyboard dock when filming this review. Other applications like games are also okay. A little bit hit and miss in terms of compatibility. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor in here hasn't been paired with Windows RT in any major releases before. In turn, some of the games like Asphalt 8 aren't optimized for it. Asphalt 7 though is funnily enough, and you do have a lot of games that will work to perfection like Cryptide 2, for example. Nokia supplements the Windows ART experience with their own applications, one of which is Storyteller Beta. On the tablet itself, it looks great because it'll take any images that you've taken and plot them against a map by pinching out. This might sound a little bit naff, but with a big screen, it's thoroughly enjoyable. Unfortunately, it isn't synced to a centralized account. So if you do have a Nokia Lumia 1520 as well, for example, which also has the app, you'll have two different sets of storyteller photos. We'd really like to see the centralized down the line. You've also got Nokia camera application. Now Nokia's camera application is really where this tablet comes into its own when compared to other tablets. It allows for things like slow exposures, manual focus, so you can do really cool things like light trails. There's no optical image stabilization, but you do have a good 6.7 megapixel sensor complemented by an f1.9 lens, so you can get a lot of light in. Low light performance is pretty good, therefore, and overall picture quality is amongst the best on any tablet out there. When it comes to multimedia in general, the big screen and the two front facing stereo speakers make this a really good tablet to have. The Netflix app, for example, works to perfection on here. And obviously with Internet Explorer being the full version, you can play flash videos with no problem whatsoever. With the 32 gigabytes of onboard memory and micro SD expandability, getting your own files on here won't be a problem either. Speaking of Internet Explorer, internet connectivity is really where this tablet excels. It's a £399 tab and it has LTE out of the box. So throw in a SIM card and you are good to go. No dependency upon Wi-Fi. Naturally though, it does also have Wi-Fi and all your other connectivity settings and NFC. It pairs well with a Lumia phone that also has NFC and you can do things like edit video on the tablet, which is gonna be much better than doing it on the smartphone itself. There are a few gripes though. The tablet seized up every now and then, which was irksome because we had to reset it. It's also got some pretty haphazard connectivity when it comes to the 3G or 4G SIM card inside. It did eventually connect, but often took a little longer than we would have ideally hoped. Having said that, for £400, you're not going to get a better connected 10 inch tablet. And with a phenomenal camera performance and design and build, not to mention screen in spite of the fingerprint attraction, you've got a pretty solid offering in the Lumia 2520. Thanks for watching BTECT, I've been Basil. If you've got any questions about the Lumia 2520, fire them in the comments section below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you are, you could also like the video if you do like it and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with everything that we're doing and head over to btech.com where you can find some exclusive deals as well.